Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm a member on the ANSYS student community and one of the members, Sam, has asked a series of questions about welding some L brackets together to make a seat joist. And um, I'm going to demonstrate my limited base claim skills to try to take this four inch long object uh, that uh, is an L bracket four of them and put a two inch long fillet weld along the outside and a three inch long weld on the inside. Uh, the next video maybe we'll tackle this uh, rod that goes between them to uh, connect them and uh, so these, this is in order to answer these questions um, how do I model the support seat connection so we'll draw welds as solids Yes, and it could be the same material or, or different for that. And we're going to use a bonded contact to connect the weld to the two uh, L brackets. And uh, I think the rod will be tackled in another video. So let's uh, just put in the four weld fillets, two inches on the outside, three inches on the inside for this video. <clears throat> so I have the... Uh, geometry SAM provided for solids and uh, first thing I'll do is create a plane by uh, picking a face and moving that uh, fa plane two inches in with the move tool so I click the move tool click the plane click an axis and then just push I'm going to push it in one inch because on a four inch long um, object I can draw one inch in and that will let me drag a two inch long weld fillet on the outside. So that's what I'll do is grab the draw tool and I'll uh, make curves with a 45 degree. So there's three curves. You see them as lines here and as soon as I uh, exit the sketch and go back to 3D that automatically is Put into a surface. So now I can pull that surface two inches along but I want it to remain a separate solid so when I uh, use the pull tool it's important that I use the no merge button and if I can remember to do that four times uh, then we'll have a success. I type two on the keyboard and there's a two inch long weld and I can even name that weld if I want to. But I'll uh, skip that for now and go on because I have a plane. I want to make a sketch. This, I'm going to look straight down at the sketch. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, grab the line tool, and with a few clicks at the right place, I have three curves into 3D. I've got a surface. And remember to push the no merge button before you grab and pull that surface two inches along typing two. So we now have uh, the outer fillets of two inches. Now we want some inner fillets that are three inches long. And for that, let's just move this um, half an inch back, the plane. So we'll grab the move tool, grab the plane and pull it back. 0.5. So now we can sketch on the inside, grab the plane, look straight down at it, zooming a little. We're going to sketch weld fillets here at 45 degrees. There we go. And close that up. Back to 3D. You remember to click no merge, grab the face and pull it. But three inches is the right number for the in, inner ones. So we're happy with that. We'll go back and uh, sketch for the next one. Over here, draw some lines, three lines. At 45 degrees and close. Back to 3D mode. 
and this time we want a um, no merge. Grab that face and pull it three inches long. So now we have four weld fillets and um, go back to the select tool to tell it we're done with that. So those are all the solids and we can uh, hide the plane and uh, the support underneath this we would have a bonded contact. Uh, we would, uh, since we're not modeling the underside, we would just make that a fixed support as well as that. Those would be the two fixed bonded contact uh, of that inner face to this face and there as well as the bonded contact across here. Those bonded contacts will all be automatically found. Um, the bonded contact that gets defined between this face and this face will have to be changed to be a frictional contact because uh, we only want bonding occurring at the weld uh, faces. And then uh, up, upward forces can be applied here uh, while these are the fixed so uh, in the next video we'll tackle the more challenging um, process of uh, creating a rod that connects these two pieces. Alright, thanks for watching. Good luck. Bye.